Bob Hansen, founder and author of Slug Tennis. At the age of 10, self-taught on the public courts of Woodland. In 1977, he dug his roots into UC Santa Cruz. Founded as a club team, 12 years later, among the most prestigious tennis programs in the country. Athletics at UC Santa Cruz, and this is without exaggeration, would not exist without Bob Hansen. I remember calling the first uh, coaches to schedule a match and them saying, I'm not sure we want to play you. The last Santa Cruz team that showed up was drinking beer, didn't have shirts on, and had no coach. And I, I had to assure them they will have t-shirts on, they won't be drinking beer, and I'll be with them. First a collegiate ball player, Hansen rediscovered his racket along with a passion and work ethic designed for the Pro Tour. And after a couple of years, he kind of had some guys that wanted to play, so he went to the administration and petitioned and said, we want to be an NCAA team and compete against other schools. In 1981, Chris Backrack became the school's first All-American and started the pulse of slug tennis. Chris Backrack started it, and he had the heart of a lion. Backrack's results alone, we were top 10 in the country. Then we got a couple more players and we went to nine. Then we went to eight. I think always teams reflect who the coach is. And I was very competitive, excited to play, um, but we didn't have any goal. We didn't know where we were going or anything. We just, every time we strapped them on, we were getting after people. From that point on, every player who wore a slug uniform wore an emblem of heart, tenacity, and pride. Learned how to really compete and play more than just hitting the ball, but really play the game as an art form. I really want to see how good our team can get, and I'm willing to do the things that it takes. That's when slug tennis becomes special to you, and that's when you have that pride that you know that you're representing Bob and you're representing uh, the slug tennis dynasty in, in you know, an incredible manner. On tour, Bob enriched his physical, mental, and spiritual approach, seeking out his highest capabilities as a player. When I did get serious about playing tennis, I remember going three years without taking one day off. I mean, I just was at it every day. Searching for greatness, in 1988, the Slugs set the goal to become the best team in the nation, to become NCAA national champions. And from that time forward, um, we went from being pretty good to being a real special program. After a heart-wrenching loss in 88, in true slug form, the team courageously returned in 89, bringing home Santa Cruz's first national title. Each year thereafter, the slugs were in contention for the championship, and nationals became a way of life. The slug philosophy in one sentence, I would say, is to win a national championship. Everybody wants a championship. Everyone going in onto a team that has a chance to win a title or has a goal, of course everybody wants it, but the question is, are you willing to do what it takes to get it? The importance of a national championship and the reason why you get to the hill and you run 12 hills, the reason why you wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to be here and run, run all over the place, the reason why you spend five hours of your day you know, on the tennis court. The reason why you think non-stop about tennis. It's just, it's awesome, it's an awesome way of life. And uh, it's all for that end goal, to win a national title. You get the big crowd there, and the atmosphere in nationals, just the intensity there. It was just a completely different level, and something I'd never been a part of. And like, I'd never felt that adrenaline run through me, like that first round in nationals. I was the best at what I did in my division for the whole country. You know, not very many people can say that. People I didn't even know that would come up and hug me and were crying. And just that was so touching. I don't think I'll, I could never forget the feelings I felt that day. There were roughly 7,700 NCAA collegiate tennis players. Only one half of 1% ever get to compete for a national championship. Why choose Santa Cruz? Because if you come to Santa Cruz, you're going to have an opportunity to win a national championship. You're going to have memories and bonds that will last you for the rest of your life. You're better off being with a 
coach that really cares deeply about you with a program that's gonna help you develop into the best player you can possibly be over that ego thing of saying, oh, I got a college scholarship, which is that kind of drives a lot of people. I think that's the main thing I've learned and taken away from this team is what it takes to be successful in life is a lot of times what it took to be successful on the team. The slug program marched on to grab five national championships and 99 All-American honors. I'm very clear that my job is to grow great people as well as great athletes. It is the Slug family, the shared lessons discovered on the road to greatness. I'm most proud of the fact that the, the quality of people that our program has produced. They're wonderful leaders in their family, in their business, you know, in their communities. They're just, they're just wonderful people.